I'm Sister Wendy. Yes, THE Sister Wendy. Now I'm on the internet. Oh, look at me in all of my pixelated glory. You see, after I left the BBC, they offered me a show on the internet where I could talk about whatever I wanted. Today, I'm going to talk about one of my personal favorite subjects, violence. You see, I love violence and it's something that can be expressed in art in various different ways you see even from the beginning of time mankind has had an obsession with violence you see <laughs> violence is just a part of our society and this is very apparent in the Assyrian lion you see this lion sculpture relief sculpture was one of the first ever it showed people hunting a lion and killing it brutally. This, oh, this makes me just get excited just thinking about it. It would be a great many more years until we would see more of these violent sculptures until the age of the Greeks. Now, the Greeks implemented violence into sculptures, such as, oh, the dying gull with his muscular body and everything about it. Oh, he's thriving in pain, but oh, I just love to see him squirm. Now this, this was implemented by the techniques of the Hellenistic Greek people who are expressing of emotions. Now the next sculpture is also from Hellenistic Greece. You'll see that uh, black one, the great, as he's being attacked by snakes. Oh, how much he must hurt right now. And the, but this Hellenistic style showing the realism of pain and suffering would be seen for the next thousands of years and other artists, like in the next time period. This next piece comes to us from the Hellenistic Greeks. And they show us Pergamon's altar, also known as the altar of Zeus. Now, in this one panel of a frieze, we see there's great death. Athena charging her blade and then beating the battle against the men. Now, Hellenistic Greece was no, it's realistic portrayals of face and real gut-wrenching emotion. As seen in the figure's face and the movement of their body. The next piece of art is from Neoclassical where the revolution was just about to take hold. And one man, Jacques-Louis David, had to print the portrait of Marat, a famous French revolutionary who died so that 100,000 men would not at the September massacre. This one painting represents so much torture and anguish, but it saved a good number of lives, and that's why we remember. The next series of art is from an engraving and a woodcut. The first engraving. Oh, what an engraving it is. The Battle of the Ten Nudes by Antonio and Plavio. Look at them. Look how they slice and cut one another. Intestines could be spilling out, but we can't tell. Because it's only in black and white. This was common in engravings, woodcuts now and then. The woodcut shows an event I'm waiting for to happen very, very much. The Apocalypse. Look, as the four horsemen of the Apocalypse by Albrecht Dürer charge in a battle, the hair swine, they'll cut through anything they can find. Oh, this is going to look what 2012, I hope, looks like. If it doesn't, I'll be very disappointed. But let's not dwell on that any longer, because it's not going to happen for a while. Let's focus on the work of Peter Paul Rubens, 
Massacre of the Innocents. Now this Baroque painting, we can see a man charging a spear into a woman in the lower left-hand corner. People flung everywhere. The composition of the figures is arranged so sporadically that we can expect anything but violence from this. Oh, I love saying violence. It's such a powerful word. I mean, when I say it, I just feel so strong and powerful. Like Artemisia Gentileschi with Judas slaying Holofernes. Oh, she's such an inspiration. The woman carving the man's head off. Ooh, I feel proud to be a woman just looking at it. With the chiaroscuro composition, with the light hitting exactly, and the blood spraying everywhere. Oh, now for some, this last piece I'm going to have a little trouble covering, because see, well, it's just that, uh, oh my god, it's, oh my god, Francisco Goya sat and eating his own child, it just, it, it, it scares me very much to see. The colors, the raw textures, the eating a baby. It just... I, 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 can, can we please move on to the next picture, please? Uh, uh, please? Y yes, yes? Oh, thank you. Now, I have been told by the management that we must cover some non-Western piece of art. Now, I'd say we go all the way back to Japan. We find the next piece in our ever-changing journey of art. This scroll is a depiction of the siege on the Sanho Palace, part of the 1115 Haji Rebellion. Now, the exact art of this piece is not known, but we can see the flames rising as the people smoke and wither in fear that they wouldn't know what was happening at the time. The next painting is from a scroll by Tokunawa Mitsugawa, which depicts a violent kidnapping. Now, this very rare scroll actually came from 1180, and it tells the story of when a boy was kidnapped from his village. Now, the next two paintings show great descriptions of war in Japan. The first is the Battle of Yojimbo, which also inspired the movie by Akira Kurosawa in 12th century. Now, the second of these two paintings is the Battle of Shioyama in 19th century Japan, led by its fearless leader, Saigo Takemori. Now this is a heroic display of samurai slicing each other for the Maiji art. And finally, we have a very violent act known to the Japanese as seppuku, or suicide. Now to our culture, this seems to be a very dishonorable thing. But for Japanese, it was customary if they lost battles. This is about to take his life in. Oh, uh, well. Oh, God, he looks like I found another package of artwork. Oh, from South America and Africa and Australia and all the. Oh, the Mesoamerican. What? The end. Wait, 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 wait. Just, just let me one more piece. Perhaps the most violent piece in this whole collection. Francis Bacon. Terrifying painting. Just the graphic nature of what happens when cows are ripped apart and... I mean... No, no, wait, wait, wait. I, I have more to say. I... This is the internet. I can speak as long as I want. Yes, so... Uh, yes. Well, I, I guess I have to get out of here now for they kick me out. So, ta-ta! For now. <laughs>